Let's find the derivative of e to the power of e to the power of x. Let's make sure we're clear on what we're talking about here. We're not talking about e to the power of e to the power of x. By the order of operations, the exponents need to get evaluated first. So what we are talking about is e to the power of e to the power of x. Thus, this is a composite function. The outside function is the exponential e to some power, and the inside function is that power, e to the x. So to take the derivative, we're going to need the chain rule, which I've provided here. The chain rule begins with f prime of g of x. That's the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside function unchanged. In this case, the outside function is e to a power, and so the derivative of that is just e to that power. In this case, that power is the inside function, e to the x. And of course, the last step of the chain rule is multiplying by g prime of x. That's the derivative of the inside function. The inside function in this case is e to the x, and the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So that is our derivative. Although, of course, we have common bases here, so we can combine them into one factor by adding the exponents together. That's just laws of exponents. And that is the derivative of e to the e to the x. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.